Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God Almighty for giving us gift of life. May his name be exalted. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We exalt your name. We give you praise, honor, and adoration. We thank you for waking us up this morning. May your name be exalted. I humble myself to you once again. Spirit of God, come and rule. Come and have your way. We thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Open your Bible to John chapter 9, verse 4. John chapter 9, verse 4. I read, I must work the work of him that sent me. Why it is day, the night cometh, when no man can walk. Hallelujah. I must walk the work of the one who sent me. Hallelujah. Today, the title of my message is said, this is the hour. This is the hour. This is the moment to work the work of God, to work the work of the one who have sent us. Hallelujah. Today, person talk about the need to make yourself available in the hands of God to use you. We should not let any opportunity to slip by. We should not postpone what we are supposed to do today to tomorrow. Hallelujah. Because we don't know what tomorrow may be. There will be a time that we wish we could do something, but the opportunity will not be there for us. We could die. We will leave this world we are no more. We could be transferred from where we are to another place. We could be incapacitated. There will be no the capacity to do the work of the one who sent us. Hallelujah. Please let me ask you, what are you doing now? That when you are off of the scene, you will be remembered for. What are you doing? What do people know you for? The one who was selfish? The one who was late to service? The man who was always on time to work? The man who always fight? Or the man who contributed back to society? Church of God, friends, families, and the needy. Oh, Brethren, you have to be remembered of something. You need to do something for God. You need to do something for the one who has sent you to this world. Hallelujah. Please, time is not on our side. So let us seize the opportunity to work hard now before darkness falls. When darkness falls, there will no be time for us to work the work of the one who sent us. You will not have more strength to work for the Lord. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1, it says, Remember now thy greater in the days of thy youth, why the day come not, nor the year draw near. Remember thy greater in the days of thy youth. This time that you have the strength, this time that we have the capacity, this time that we can do something for Christ, this time that we can move with the strength of God, brethren, let us do the work of the one who sent us. An hour is coming that you will not have that strength to do it. A time is coming that you cannot make it. Hallelujah. Yes, this is the hour to win souls for God, to help the needy families, friends,
friends and the society before the darkness falls and you will be crowned for your good deeds. May God Almighty give us the strength to work out for his kingdom, to draw people to Christ, to draw people unto the kingdom of God, and you will be crowned in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this hour. We exalt your name. Your word has come to us. You say we should work the work of you that sent us, Lord. We are ready. We are available. Use us. Use us to do your work. Use us to draw people into your kingdom. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We need your help to move. Without your help, we cannot do nothing. Without your strength, we cannot do nothing. Every Father, strengthen us. Empower us to do your work. We thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, I will ask you to share this message to win souls for Christ. Share, subscribe, like, so that you can have all the notifications. May God Almighty bless you as you do that. I'm Pastor Janet of Osuya Pukuya Apa from Christ Ambassador Pentecostal Church, Italy, Bergamo. Shalom. Peace be unto you. Amen.